Welcome, welcome. I'm Dr. Sina, a medical doctor and dermatologist based in the UK. And today I'm going to go through a literally stratospheric topic in beauty and skin at the moment. LED masks. Now these masks look futuristic and exorbitantly premium, but do they actually work? No beating about the bush here. My goal is to tell you the plain and simple facts. Firstly, what is an LED mask? It's quite simple really. It's a mask applied to the face which has small arrays of LED lights. It's able to shine lights at different wavelengths to the skin in order to provide a benefit to the skin. You can buy these masks anywhere from $10 to $3,000. But the question is, do they deserve to be part of your skincare routine? I've put pen to paper and done a worldwide scientific database search of some of the biggest databases, including Embase, Medline and AMED, to find scientific articles which either support or don't support LED masks. So let's start with red light or near infrared light treatment. This is quite interesting because red light wavelengths are already used to treat precancers and sun damage on the body using a technique called photodynamic therapy. But within the commercial sector, red light treatment is being used with interest for its anti-aging effects, or that's what they purport. The theory that red light is stimulating fibroblasts in the skin to produce more collagen, making the skin appear younger. So preliminary studies have shown some interesting results. So one trial with 136 participants using red light showed beneficial effects on skin wrinkling and collagen using lamps at treatment doses of 8 to 10 joule per centimeter squared. But this is only one trial and we do not have comprehensive systematic reviews and meta-analyses the highest grades of clinical evidence available on this subject. Okay, so let's move on to blue light treatment or therapy. So what about blue light? Well, this is actually quite a juicy area because we do have some evidence where blue light treatment has been used for acne and we do have systematic reviews and meta-analyses. These have reported improvements of acne with blue light treatment, although the proportion of people who reported improvement and the size of improvement varied between trials. However, they did quote methodological and reporting limitations within the trials. Most trials had small sample sizes and were actually not for that long, so only up to 12 weeks. The reporting quality of many trials was quite low and there were risks of bias, with frequent missing information on particular findings. This was also supported by a recent recent Cochrane review pointing out the methodological weaknesses of existing trials. They unfortunately concluded that there was low certainty of the usefulness of blue light therapy. Let's be clear, this does by no means mean that it doesn't work, it just means that we're not quite certain of the effects just yet and we need some more data. Hopefully trials in the future will be of sufficient quality and informational consistency to support blue light treatment possibly in the future. Okay, so what about green light and its purported effects to treat hyperpigmentation? So, uh, in my literature search, to be frank, I came up with nothing. I'm not aware of any trials as yet to support this. So what are the takeaways from all of this research? Firstly, take claims from companies with a pinch of salt. The research is limited. However, it's probably most convincing for blue light treatment for acne. Number two, always check what dosage in joules per centimeter squared a mask purports to supply. For example, on the trials with red light, the dosage was eight to 10 joules per centimeter squared. And many masks do hide this information. So it's important you go ahead and try to check it out. Thirdly, cost. And bearing in mind that you can buy LED strips for 20 to 50 bucks, it doesn't make sense to go ahead and buy a mask which costs way over $200. And frankly, they're just ripping you off if you pay much more than that. So I hope this video has brought you some clarity over your decision whether to invest in an LED mask. And if you enjoyed it, please do go ahead and like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot.